hello and welcome back to another episode of my makeup collection this is going to be the last episode and the longest episode i think this is going to be my eye category there is a lot to unpack here honey there is a lot all right let's get started so um this uh under my vanity here this uh alex wide drawer houses most of the eye products I get started with. Does that make sense? Alright, so let's open this top drawer. In here we have all of my brow products, so my brow pomades, pencils, things like that. The KBD brow pomades are bomb. They come in a bunch of fun colors. I do like colored brows. I enjoy that. Of course, we got the OG Dip Brow, Morphe NYX, a lot of different ones. Um, this NYX Brow Glue, baby. I've raved about this in many a video. Oh, it's good. Back up sitting right there. Okay, period. Eye primers here. I'm still working through an Urban Decay Primer Potion. Y'all, believe it or not, I still have a couple backups of this because my dumbass bought a bunch of backups from Nordstrom Rack, not realizing how long it takes to go through one. But I do switch stuff out. I've been using the NYX Prefit a lot lately. Um, so, yeah. These are all my mascaras that are open. Um, I actually have another row. If I take this basket out, there's another row of like minis in the back. And then I have some unopened mascaras here because I refuse to open another mascara. A lot of these are on their last leg, though. So th I'm really proud of that. A lot of these are on their last leg. Even though I wear false lashes most of the time with makeup, I wear a mascara every time. And then some other additional brow products and such. Okay. Next drawer. In here we have uh, some. All right, how can I describe these? This is uh, singles, but like not traditional pressed singles. Okay. So we have some baked eyeshadows. These are from AOA Studio. These are really good. Uh, from Shop Miss A. One dollar, baby. One do layer. Okay. My Morphe pressed pigments. I love these. Love these pressed pigments. L'Oreal Infallible, um, the, the sort of pressed, sort of loose pigments. We have those. We have some other loose pigments in here. Um, blue Brown, Max Blue Brown, anyone? Anyone. This pigment is the best. Um, rose Gold, Old Gold, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Then here I have all of my loose glitters. Um, I don't have that many anymore, believe it or not. I like to press my glitters. Also... These are from LA Girl. They are pressed glitters and they are bomb. They're not like a glitter over spray. They are really good. Um, and then I have my lime, uh, lime crime. Lemonhead Space Paste with like this, this glitter gel stuff, which is bomb. And some mixing mediums to put the glitters on with. And that's what we have there. Okay, baby. L'Oreal Infallibles are bomb, y'all. <sighs> y'all. 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 Next drawer. Oh, we got a little. There we go. Next drawer are all my eyeliners. <sighs> this is one of my favorite drawers because it's like so neatly organized. Over here we have my liquid liners and glitter liners. So liquid liners in colors other than black um, and glitters, glitter liners. Okay, pen liquid doesn't matter. Pen liquid, brush tip, felt tip don't matter. Here are all of my fun color pot liners. Love the Suva Beauty uh, Hydro FX liners. Oh my goodness, gotta get more of those. Color Pop, um, Inglot, bam. So my pot liners that are in the brighter colors. I'm gonna skip the pencils real quick. And then this is all my pot liners in my deeper colors, okay? The dark blues, the black. You know, we got Matte Fluid line up in here. Oh, OG. Uh, this is the green one, but I have the black one in here too. Um, liner. And then the other four, five baskets, we have pencils, and they're sorted by color. These are my bright colored eyeliners. Bright colored eyeliners. Oh no, these aren't pencils. These are my liquid eyeliners that are in black. We separate those from the colored liquid eyeliners, okay? These are my pencils in my deep dark browns. Uh, neutral colors, sorta. 
gray. Well, there's we're on the other side of this blue, so gray, brown, that kind of thing. And then here, all of like my metallic and deeper shades, deep blues and purples and stuff. So that's how we have that drawer. These color, I love colored liner in the waterline. A pop of color can do everything, baby. We love it. Some of my favorites are ColourPop, LA Girl, NYX. Ah, so good. So good. And then over here are my jumbo pencils. We have NYX, we have Milani jumbo pencils. These are, I usually use these as eyeliner as well. But they're just the fatter pencils. The NYX jumbo eye pencils came back. They popped them back out, redid them, I guess. Those are bomb. The Maloney ones are definitely bomb. So, yeah, that is that drawer. Absolutely stunning. Love the organization of this drawer. This is so pleasing to me. Oh, it's so pleasing. Okay. Then this drawer are all of my single, singles, single shadows and duos that I have not depotted and I don't want to depot for whatever reason. I'm going to put them in a palette. Boy, that was too much work or what have you, whatever. So I'm going to mention these first. Them, <laughs> these Milani gel powder eyeshadows. Y'all remember these? Why are they still in the plastic in my drawer? Listen, I bought all 30 of them. It was like 30 shades came out. And I depotted them and put them in a palette. You'll see that. And then I had depotter's remorse because they're gold and I love the packaging. And I've been trying to buy, I was trying to buy them the set again and I was going to give the palette away. But then they discontinued them. So now I'm kind of in this weird place with them. And I don't want to let them go, but I'll probably give them away. Anyway, these are sorted by shade. Um, like my black, white, kind of gray, smoky eye things. My browns and neutrals. My metallics here. We got green and yellow, purple and blue, and then like pink and orange. That's how they're sorted. Uh, these LA colors, some of my faves, $1, okay? We know Wet n Wild is clutch. Um, I got MAC in here. Ooh, the MAC Into the Well. So let me see if I can open this. without moving the camera too much. So see this? You would put a little bit of the Duraline, like the mixing medium, right in that little well, and it became a liner. But this eyeshadow itself is very deep and ridiculously dark, and I love it. It's a navy blue. Um... Yeah, so that's the single drum. Kind of going through this a little bit quickly because I know we want to see the palettes. I already know. I already know. All right, and then the last two drawers house my magnetic palettes um, and singles. I'm gonna have to set this up on the tripod. I mean, yeah. Let me let me see if I can do something. Okay, so this drawer um, houses. Uh, both girls' houses uh, magnetic palettes with singles in them. Um, this is just the smaller ones. This is the, the bottom drawers, the larger ones, and we'll get there. So the way I store my singles, I've talked about this in a video, I store them by brand because it's solely for YouTube purposes. When I'm doing a video, when I'm doing or showing a shade, telling a shade, whatever, I can just know that all the shadows in this palette are the same brand. And then I can just talk about the shade. If they were all mixed up or by color, I'll have to pick them up more. So, let's see. Over here, we have some Adept Cosmetic Palettes. Also, I get my magnetic palettes from various, various companies. Adept Cosmetics has been very, very genuine to me in sending me magnetic palettes. Love them. Their palettes are gorgeous. So, this one... Um, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. This houses some Makeup Geek shadows. Also, there's a satisfaction about filling the palette, having just the right amount. These are some Makeup Geek singles. These were on the clearance. Uh, got a lot of stuff on sale. Makeup Geek had a sale, and they were like a dollar and something, okay? Um, this is Adept uh, Shadows, as, and I have, I think, like four left over in this little Makeup Forever palette. Um, that didn't fit in here. These are their square pan pa shadows. They sent me these. Um, they sent me these. Oh God, I don't. Were they I kind of like when they first came out? Um, which was awesome, and they're really good quality shadows. So very happy about that. What else we got in here? There's the balm there. These are my ColourPop ones. So ColourPop has. Oh, what's back here? What is this? Whatever. ColourPop. Um. I have a pressed glitter one from ColourPop. 
Um, and then I, I made two palettes from ColourPop with singles in them uh, on their website. And then this was like that pre-made rainbow one they came out with. So we have those back there. Alright. Um, I have... Whew, these two palettes. This is an empty Morphe palette. These are some clarity shadows. These are, it says limp give me glow, but they're clarity shadows as well. Rolled over. Um, I have a bunch of Coastal Scents Hot Pots. This is an another, another adept type of palette. Again, they sent me this one. Awesome. This is, these are Coastal Scents Hot Pots. I have a lot of Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Just, so just get ready. These are Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Um, like one of the, rest in peace Coastal Scents. Okay. Ugh. Makes me sad. Makes me sad. Um, I have a little matte quad. These are the four MAC shadows I have. Uh, why am I not knowing where my camera is? <laughs> matte quad. Um, these are my melt stacks. This is three stacks here. I have the radioactive stack, the rust stack, and the baby girl stack, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, oh. It's a mishmash again. So I have Inglot pre-made palettes here. Not pre-made, I'm lying. I made these at IMAX. Love the Inglot little system here. Made these. All right, and then I have some Z palettes, of course. Z palette was on and popping. Also, Z palette, um, there was some on clearance at Ulta. I love empty magnetic palettes because I depot things and uh, 20. Probably, I said 2020 was the year of about me buying singles, um, 2021, and probably into 2022. <laughs> uh, these are, like I said, every Z palette, every palette is just one brand for the most part. These are Colored Rain. These were on clearance. Colored Rain stopped their singles. They were like a dollar and some change. Um, these are my Suva Beauty singles. I believe I got most of these. I think I got all of these at IMATS one year. So these are some matte ones. This is a double-sided Z palette, by the way. These are some matte ones. And then these are others. It's all Suva. 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 This is a random empty coast. Oh, my God. Coastal Sense had those empty palettes. Uh, these empty magnetic palettes for like $2. Ugh. God rest their soul. Some pressed shadows. I have different brands. Clarity, Morphe. Um, this. Oh, let's let's show you this. Hold on. This is that new a new Wet n Wild the new big Wet n Wild palette that just released. I depotted it immediately. The packaging was terrible, and it looks so much better. And I've used it so much more than probably if I if it was in that original packaging. So. This, these are the Milani <laughs> gel powders that I depotted. Love this formula. This is definitely going in my shot mustache thing. Love them. Okay. And then under here are some depotted uh, KVD palettes. I love that quality of formula, but we had depotted a lot of those. And then in here are my larger magnetic palettes. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to show you all of these. Because I'm going to show you all of these. And we're going to start from the bottom. Now we're here. Okay? We're going to start from the bottom. Now we're here. So, I'm going to link this video down below. I made these large palettes out of like books. Old books. Um, yeah. So in this one. Huh. Right? Wait a minute. Let me get my angle right. Let me let me stop playing with y'all. Coastal Scent Top Pots. Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Alright. Um, and in this one, we have, alright, this is all of, um, <laughs> not all of them, but this is probably about five older Morphe palettes. Look at all that brown. We already know what Morphe do, but to see it all laid out, yeah, I had deprived of some of the older 35, like in that hard plastic packaging. I deposited some of those and so and, and got rid of a lot of shades, shades too. And we still got all those browns. So whatever. Alright, in this palette, this is 
an adept the leather one i think this house is 88 regular size shadows these are larger pans these are my stelazi shadows and there's a random square one in there um yeah <laughs> yes wait a minute um i got a lot of extra large palettes this is a give me glow one and in here are BH Cosmetics palettes. I depotted quite a few BH Cosmetics palettes a while ago and threw them in a palette. I got rid of some, you know, that were duplicate, looked similar, just so I could have the right amount of shades to fill this palette. Okay? It wasn't like I depotted them and it worked out that way. No. No, there was some editing involved. Okay? Okay. Um... In here are, this is another Give Me Glow palette, and in here are actually Give Me Glow eyeshadows. So, that, that matches. <laughs> These are all Give Me Glow. Beautiful shades. Big, large, large pans. Love them. Love them, okay? And then we have, in this palette, um, this is an Adept 88, large 88 palette. And in here, we have my pressed glitters. So, I told you guys about my makeup inventory. These are technically not in the inventory because I made them myself. I've mixed colors together, whatever. The loose, the glitters that are still in a jar in one of these drawers, all of those are in the inventory. But I don't know what the hell I used to make these glitters, but I pressed them myself with preservative and binder. Very proud of this palette. Some are missing because I've given some away or I threw some out. Because a couple got hard. It is what it is. Okay. And then finally, this large palette, again from a debt. <laughs> More Coastal Sense Hot Pots. More of them. Yeah. We got quite a bit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So that is this six drawer unit. Now we get on to all of my regular eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I lied. I lied. We're not at palettes yet. <laughs> Almost. So eyelashes. So right below my setting sprays, I keep in this whole section are all my eyelashes. Um, for a long time, Coco lashes were like my number one brand of lash, and they still up there. They got bumped. Um, also, I, I wrote the style of them on the top. So, like, for storage purposes. Mm. Um, I got a lot of different brands. I don't buy high-end lashes. I don't pay over, like, $7 for a pair of lashes. I think that's ridiculous. Um, anyway, Vegas Nay. The, look, Eyelore. I still got backups of these. I haven't opened up. Um, I like a wispy lash here and there. Random no names because I got them from like iMats. Took them out of my kit, y'all. But Kiss Lashes? Kiss has taken the cake. They've taken the throne. These are oh, Russian volume. Oh my god. The Kiss Lash Couture Luxe Extensions. They got different like collections. Oh my god. Those are bomb. Um, these V Lux True Fit. Ah. Uh, I think they're by INV, which is also made by Kiss. They're in the hair store. Those are pretty. Um, we got the triple push-up extra long. The 25 millimeter ones. Yo. OMG. O to the M to the G. Um, and then, again, other random brands. Then they got the Lash Couture Matte Black Collection. God. <sighs> Kiss. Kiss is giving it to him, so. And we just got random ones. Kiss is giving it to him. Okay? So my lashes. Now, let's transition over here. This is a good transition into palette. So we're going to start from the bottom of this, because this is still eyes. The bottom of this, work our way up, and then we will be into palettes for real, because I lied the first time. So, cream eyeshadows. Y'all, some of these y'all going to be like, she still got these. Oh, listen. Y'all, they don't even make these no more. These bad boys are still loosey goosey and moosey. Um, I ain't gonna say nothing else about it. Remember the other smudge pots? Still got a few. Still working well. I don't. I don't know. 
to tell you. These e.l.f. liquid eyeshadows are really good. These are like liquid eyeshadows. This Morphe. Oh, this is pretty. I wore this recently. The um, Jelly Eye Shimmer. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, so just random cream eyeshadows are in here. Um, I just decluttered this. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of these way too long. I decluttered all the ones that were like old and hard. <laughs> these are my Maybelline color tattoos. All of these are still creamy, emollient, and not gross. So why throw them out? Why throw them out? Some people thought the Maybelline color tattoos were a little dry. I thought they made really nice eye bases. Um, I don't. I, I have to admit, I don't use them as much anymore. But I did declutter to make sure these were all legitimate. <laughs> uh, you know, go through and make sure they're not gross. So we still have them, and they still make Maybelline color tattoos. So. Color Pop Super Shock Shadows. This is a, sh a Super Shock cheek or whatever, but it disappears on my skin, so it's an eyeshadow. Um, I have a lot of Color Pop Super Shocks. I have a lot. We have a lot. We have over a hundred. We have a lot. Again, get these in sets, vaults, things they come out with, sales. I got a lot off of Makeup Exchange. Um, yeah. And then this top drawer is also ColourPop. And this houses their Jelly Much eyeshadows. I love things in jars, by the way. I don't know if I told y'all that. And their Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gels, which are like the Lemon Head Space pastes. But a lot cheaper and just beautiful. They're so pretty. When these and the... Oh, that's one of my favorites. When these and the Jelly Much shadows came out, I bought all of them. So... That is that. And now for real, y'all. For real. We're getting into all of my palettes. So, since we're staying with ColourPop, all of my ColourPop palettes, obviously minus the singles, are on top of here and beside here. So, here I have all the nine pan. Other than the couple new ones, the few new ones over there that I need to, that I'm working on. But all the nine pan. Do I own all of the ones they came out with? Believe it or not, no. I do not. I do not. Um, the, this is one of my favorites. Is this the one? Yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. Simple and gorgeous. Ugh, OMG. Simple and gorgeous. All of the nine pins that I have. Then we have all of the 12 pin eyeshadows here, eyeshadow palettes here. Um, yep. This was their original, the first one. Y'all remember this? The Yes Please Color Pop came out. This is like, look at it. One of my top favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. Oh, they knew how to do this warm palette. They did the damn thing with this one, baby. <sighs> so exciting. Fun fact, I don't know if you guys know, all of the shadows in Color Pop's eyeshadow pa palettes are magnetic and they pop right out. Flip the palette over, give it a tap or two, they all come right out. And you, a lot of people depot them and stuff. I, I get anxiety with stuff like that, but. California love. That's a good one, too. Ding, 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 ding. All right, all right. Shut up. The Dream Street with Kathleen Lights. This one, pretty, pretty. Okay? So beautiful. And so on and so forth, okay? We have... We have the larger palettes, the other awkward sizes of palettes there. Um, I really like the Hocus Pocus one. A lot of people didn't like this Hocus Pocus one. What what happened here? Why y'all why y'all ain't like this? Why y'all why y'all ain't like it? I love this color scheme. Why y'all ain't like this? I don't know. Y'all ain't like it though. We have the larger ones. The um, this is one that's beautiful. The So Jaded, another Kathleen Lights collab. This one's gorgeous, really pretty. Um, all I do on all of the large ColourPop palettes. So yeah, and then there's a small one there. Yeah. All right. So, whoo, we are getting there. We are getting there. All right, so let me show you. These two Alex drawers house most of my palettes. Um, uh, Y'all, I'm multitasking now. Like, I'm multitasking for real. <sighs> um, looking at my screen, looking at my computer screen, looking at the camera. Okay. Again, Ikea 9-pan. 
nine pan, nine drawer. Let's get started. Start here on the left. Um, these are sorted by brand. Um, same brands are together. Every brand doesn't have its own drawer. If I have enough of them or they all fit, then you get your own drawer, whatever, but they don't all have their own drawer. Um, a lot of brands will share a drawer and that's okay. So it's the wet and wild, wet and wild drawer. Other than that palette I depotted in the singles. I got them all. I'm going to tell you some powders don't go bad. I mean, they do eventually, but like, it takes a very long time. I have the three pants, and it's nostalgia for me. Because I really started collecting these early, early, early on in my days. So I can't, I can't wait to shop my stash and maybe use some of these again. But I started out the old ones and the new. The old ones, the new ones, the new, new ones. Yeah, so Wet n Wild has a strong place in my heart. Um, this is a mishmash, LA Colors, LA Girl, Beauty Store, Nick K. Listen, these nine pans right here, this is the best red palette I own. It's probably the only red palette I own, but listen, 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 sis. This palette is giving it to you. $3, $2.99. Giving it to you. Okay, period. Um, Elf. Y'all remember these? One when Elf had palette cloths for a dollar. Yes, I still have them. Yes, they still work. Why get rid of them? Why? Something. <laughs> we have collections like mine. Some things are just here for nostalgia, but they, they, they're fine. I might pull one out. Compare it to the bite-sized ones. These are the new ones. See how things uh, evolve over time, which is awesome. That's Elf. NYX has its own drawer. NYX. Oh, Elf had his own drawer. <laughs> Nyx has his own drawer. I'm going to tell you something. These large palettes, I was disappointed in. They, they, Nyx eyeshadows are not the best. I'm going to be honest with you. They're not my favorite at all. This is probably one of the better palettes. Um, this is the Sugar Trip Squad. This was a holiday release. And the pigment on these bad boys is awesome. So I don't know. And the Ultimate palettes aren't too bad. But again... It, Nyx isn't I, my favorite eyeshadow formula at all. Um, we have some other mishmash. I got a lot of palettes from Five Below. <laughs> Amazon trying different brands. These are pretty good. This is the what brand is this? Prism Makeup. These are pretty good. Decent, decent palette. Milani also is in here. Also is in here. So. Okay. Ooh, I need to sit down. <laughs> uh, uh, woo! All right, this is my LA Girl drawer. I love these LA Girl Pro Palettes, these square ones. Oh, I love them. They are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And they usually come out with a collection. So, like, um, each collection they come out with, they come out with two. Sorry, y'all. Got to open it. Comes up, come out with two of this size of palette. Absolutely beautiful. And they have really good quality. Um, let me see. I like the this theme one. Beautiful. And then there's some smaller palettes in the back. Okay. Here we go. Here's some of my makeup revolution. Um, my non-large makeup revolution. We'll get to the bookshelf in a minute. Um, I love makeup revolution. Their palettes can be hit and miss, but I've realized this packaging, the ones that are in these like tins, these are the quality palettes. These are the high quality palettes. These are the ones you want. These are what you want. Okay? These are what you want. Um, I don't have them all. I have pretty much all, almost all of them, but I don't have them all. These are really decent quality. This one here, and I don't mean decent, I mean above average. The Birds of Paradise, come on, open up, open up, open up. The, the packaging on these is absolutely amazing. Um, look at that, absolutely beautiful. The packaging is great, you can travel with these. I don't have fear of anything breaking. Um, 
I have the friends ones, of course. Of course. There's the other one. Of course. Love, love, love them. So keep Makeup Revolution in your mind because that's not all the palettes I have for Makeup Revolution. And then in here, we have BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents. Here's another nostalgic one. I want to say maybe my first or second year on YouTube, I did a huge haul, online haul from BH Cosmetics. This palette was in there. This palette, y'all remember the Party Girl palette? I'm never getting rid of this. This was my palette I would wear when I was in college, undergrad. We were going out clubbing and stuff, not knowing how to blend your eyeshadow. This was like the first red eyeshadow, true red. Look at that, y'all. I'm never getting rid of this palette. The Party Girl, y'all. Remember the 88 palettes and stuff in this packaging? Never getting rid of this. Oh, so many memories. So many memories. Uh, but yeah, BH Cosmetics, take me to Brazil. Take me back to Brazil. My favorites in here is this one here. The Glam Reflection Collection. This is the gilded one. It's a nice golden-y palette. Um, that's one of my favorites. And actually, from BH Cosmetics... The Take Me to Brazil ones are nice, but this holiday palette did it, y'all. This came out last year, I think. This naughty palette, they had a naughty and a nice palette. This, this is giving me Too Faced vibes. It's giving me Too Faced holiday, but oh, beautiful. Balm.com, baby. So, yeah, and then we have the Coastal Scents, Rest in Peace Coastal Scents. Revealed palettes. Rest in peace, Coastal Scents. In here are all of my so uh, extra um, magnetic palettes. Empty magnetic palettes, Z palettes, whatever palettes. Okay. <sighs> On to the next one. This one houses more of the high-end palettes that aren't Unless they're on display. But we'll get to the shelf last. We'll get to the shelf. Alright. Stand back up. In here. In this top drawer. We have. Ooh. Hit my ankle. In this top drawer. We have. Lorac and Urban Decay. I love Lorac's Pro Eyeshadow Formula. I have all of her Mega Pro palettes. Um, my favorite Mega Pro is the three actually. Beautiful. See I worn these out. Um, the Urban Decay. I wish they came back with another Vice. This is the Vice 3 or the Vice 4? I don't remember. Um, I think it's the 3. Come on. I wore this palette out too. Wait, I got it. I got it. Yes. Beautiful. And I love the packaging. No, I'm not ever going to depot it. Um, we have the Naked palettes. I remember I got all the Naked palettes in a vault. Um, really nice naked palette. The electric, um, oh, Born to Run is probably my favorite Urban Decay palette now. Um, come on, Born to Run, absolutely bomb, perfect, perfect, great palette, great palette, great. La Rock unzipped, unzipped gold. <sighs> I wore unzipped out as well because I went through a rose gold phase. For like a year. <laughs> I went through a rose gold phase. And, and I wore this palette. Baby. Wore it out. Mm. Wow. Too faced. Too faced. Uh, the semi-sweet chocolate bar was one of my favorites for a very long time. Um, this palette. Sweet Peach then took over. I still love the Sweet, sweet Peach palette. Love it, love it. I love all my palettes, but. Balm. Too Faced Holiday palette. I have a couple back there. Um, the Pretty Rebel. I don't know how, y'all. This one, years ago. Many, many years. Probably like 10 years. And then we have the mini ones. Bring up by the gelatin. Uh, rock and roll, and then we have the new 
mini ones. I have a couple salted caramel and light my fire. You light my fire. I was listening to that the other day. I'm standing. Y'all remember that? <laughs> okay. All right. Next drawer is a mishmash of higher end brands. We have um, Colored Rain, The Balm. There is a Ace Ace Beauty back there. Got more of the Balm palettes. Some uh, Kat, the KBD. Well, this was Cat Wick when it was Cat Bondi. Pastel Goth, Colored Rain, Queen of Hearts. Yo, this palette kept going in and out of stock, but I finally, finally got my hands on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, I remember, I mean, when I say finally, I've had this palette for a couple years, but when it, it, it took forever for me to get it. Uh, forever. Alright, then we have other high-end brands. I have a MAC. Um, this is the MAC um, pre-made, what is it, the Art Library. This is the warm one. I got this on clearance, too, for about $16 at Ulta. It's a $50 palette. Let's just flip this one. Okay. This, I was pleasantly surprised. This is the um, Unleashed palette by Tarte. Y'all, you, you want a neutral palette with a pop of blue? That's easy. Oh! That's easy to work with. Hold on, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. Recommend it. Highly recommend it. I don't know if they still have it out, but... There's a pure palette, my Huda palettes. That's how I got the um, rose gold before they remastered it. This is the original. Okay. Um, and then my Lime Crime XL palettes. This one right here, one of my favorites. This has the probably one of the best if not the best burgundy eyeshadows in my collection. Oh. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Look, an empty drawer. <laughs> and here's Anastasia Beverly Hills. No, I didn't get Norvina Volume 5 yet. I'm getting it. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. Um, and then these are the other ones. Fun fact about me, I did not like Modern Renaissance. I think out of all these, my favorite is probably Soft Glam. I think it's beautiful. But no, did not like Modern Renaissance. Uh, the Riviera palette is actually really pretty too. I like this one too. But yeah, we have our Anastasia palettes. What else we got in here? <laughs> this is my kind of like um I call this my deep palette drawer it's not that all of these are dupes but this brand we have um bad habit and alter ego in here and they're famous for like creating really good really good dupes for other brands specifically they like to do Huda Beauty and Natasha Denona um, I have a couple of Natasha, Natasha Denona palettes and then the equivalent dupes. Look at this packaging. Look, look at the packaging. Really beautiful. Um, I remember the brand Shop Hush. I miss Shop Hush so much. They sold Alter Ego and um, Bad Habit and stuff. They sold them. I mean, I remember when they went out of business. I got a lot of palettes. I mean, I got like, it was like 14, 15 pallets for like 20 bucks. I got a lot of them. Um, some of these are trying to, you know, the deep, the Anastasia ones. Um, this is, so I'll show you, for example, let me put it on the floor. This is the, look at the packaging. This is Bad Habit Beauty. I don't know where they are. I think they went out of business. So this is the Artistry palette. Beautiful packaging. And this... That's just my nails, actually. So this... Where's my Anastasia? Wait a minute. Is Giving Makeup by Mario. Remember this palette? Everyone loved it. And it disappeared. They do stuff like that. Okay? And great quality, not fake, you know, 
made in China, you know, with harmful ingredients. No shade to China. We love China. But y'all you, know what I'm saying. Those type of... Remember, like on eBay, the eBay fakes and stuff. Remember what I'm saying? No. These are quality... Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's an empty drawer. And then in here, because I have no place else to put it, is my UV light <laughs> for my nails. Okay? Now, let's get to this bookshelf, which this bottom shelf... We can start there. We can we can start and work our way up. Let's work our way up. Ready? All right, let's do this. Okay, so this bottom shelf is serving as just a makeshift storage unit right now. Um, I have some empty large magnetic palettes. I got one left from Give Me Glow and my four colored rain ones. But this can be smoothed. I mean, you know, changed if I need space for real palettes. On this side, I got some extra brushes. Um, these, I need to wash those. Those are brushes that, like, when people come over, I want to do my makeup at your house. Um, I let them use those brushes because you ain't using my brushes. Oh, God. Seriously, I need to wash them. Um, and then just a couple brush holders. And then these palettes. Y'all remember the e.l.f. palettes, the 144s? I'm never getting rid of these. Also, nostalgia. Never getting rid of them. The 144 neutral and then the 144. I might do a video with them. I might do a video with them. I might. This is giving me so many ideas and vibes. Having a great time. All right, this organize these little bins came from Target. Um, I decided to do some in bins, some like books, just to keep uh it keep it uh varied, okay? Um, and cute, okay? And <laughs> I just, that's just what I did. Because I can fit more in the basket this way than putting them as books. I say I make more space. Um, this is, this row is all, the shelf is all Morphe. These are some of my smaller Morphe palettes. Um, again, Morphe discontinues palettes pretty quickly. So, a lot of these. Yeah, the 50s, 15s. I got these from IMAX, I believe. Um, really nice. I I really like the second Jaclyn Hill collection. I really did. Um, so I have her mini palettes back there. And then all of my other Morphe palettes. Uh, larger Morphe palettes. I really like. Where is it? This. The volume 2. The. the. I really like this palette. The pinks and stuff. The. Well she actually had a collab before these two. But this is the. So this is technically our second and third collab, but y'all know what I mean. I like this palette too. I do, but I like the brighters in this palette. I really do. This one was, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. This one's a lot of brown. I'm not going to lie. A lot of brown. This one's pretty. Okay. Um. And there's a mishmash in there. Not going to lie. Not going to pull them all out because then I got to lift this basket. And it's heavy. <laughs> It's heavy. All right, moving up. Moving on up. So this row, um, we have a mishmash of brands. I like them out like books. Over here is my Mora Beauty and my Rude Cosmetics Beauty Books. Rude Cosmetics, I got them. They were at IMETS one year. Um, I need to go on their website because they have some bomb stuff. This is kind of like the Jaclyn Hill palette again. <laughs> Ooh, yeesh. But whatever. Uh, these Mora Beauty, the Destiny palettes, baby girl, baby girl, these are beautiful, these are beautiful, where's my favorite one, where's the one, I don't know, um, that ain't it, it's like a bright one, alright, now we gotta find it. Sweet Paradise. There it is. Beautiful. So pretty. So pretty. So bam. We have those. There's a small Mora there. Over here. Clarity. So amazing. Give me Glow Vivid Rose. Oh, this baby. This baby. 
Ooh, baby. Sample Beauties here. Be Perfect and Beauty Bay. A lot of these are pretty much new. I accumulated all these um, pretty much over the last year. Beauty Bay, really, I really fell in love with Beauty Bay shopping on there. I just used this palette. Uh, I think my last Instagram post, I don't remember. Oh, Y'all know I love a warm palette. <gasps> the Fiery. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. It's so funny. If you look at it when I open palettes, you'll see chips from where my nails hit stuff. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. That's a mishmash. Now we're getting into brands. I mean, they're all brands, but like specifically. Um, let me get my step stool. Hold on. All right, all right. So in this basket is all of my Juvia's Place palettes. All of my Juvia's Place. Not much room for growth, but that's okay. We can get a bigger basket. Ugh. So pretty. The mini ones really stole my heart. Um, really stole my heart. So pretty. Ah, uh, so pretty. So pretty. So the berries is good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, the berries is everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Then the bronzed rustic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh gosh, all right, I cannot. And then over here we have in the front, these are some Perfusion beauty books that I got from what, Five Below or something? Really good, really nice. So we have these, I have a few, well, all of them that they carried in five below. <laughs> and then here are my, all of these, larger makeup revolution palettes. Okay, so these, I forgot what these are called, the Maxi Reloaded palettes. We have these, I got these on Beauty Bay, they were on sale. These are originally, I think like $18, and they were on Beauty Bay for about nine or 10. Um, so I have those. And then my larger, these are all collabs. This is the Patricia Bright collab. God. This one hand situation. Beautiful. Look at that palette. These are better quality than the Maxi Reloaded's, by the way. The Friends collab, because y'all know that's my favorite show. Um, this palette, baby. This is the, uh, I think it's Tammy Clark collab y'all this palette mm, 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 mm. and then of course my girl emily noel 83 i love her on youtube um i'll be honest this palette ain't all that <laughs> um i just don't think it's as good quality as those and then it's pretty i love the shades that she picked for her um it's just not my vibe i think it's pretty and i'm definitely going to support emily but it's not giving enough of what I needed to give. But let's not support my girl. So we can't win them all, baby. We can't win them all. All right. Okay. Now this top row. <sighs> Hold on. Let me get my steps. <laughs> baby, all of these palettes are profusion. We love profusion here. Okay. Um, we love them. These are the, the ones that are $10. These are all the little $5 ones. I get them off the website. I get them from Walmart carries the Perfusion line now, like a full display. These little $5 palettes will stop you in your tracks, baby. I did one of my favorite green looks of all time with this palette. Remember I did my Candace and Color series? This palette held down the greens, held it down. Um the various themes of them see if I can get in here the emerald violets I just don't feel like grabbing this basket all the way down um yes the larger holiday I hope they come out with I hope they come out with more of these like 
I hope they come out with a new wave of them. And when they come out with them, they come out with like five or six at a time. And I'm, I just, I need them to come back out. Spectrum, the rainbow one. I need them to come back out. I need them to come back out. And then finally, we have the top. And this is where I just have things that are on display that I think are nice. So this is the NYX Tetris palette. I got this simply because I love Tetris nostalgia. The the shadows, I did a really pretty look. I got a couple pretty looks out of it, but again, it's just so much. This is 80 eyeshadows and it, it, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. It's a lot. <laughs> but it's pretty on my vanity, on my... And then, ooh, y'all, Morphe. Remember the 35B? Everybody loved the 35B. I wound up giving it away. And then they came out with the Lisa Frank Collection 35B. And this palette's like a trapper keeper. And it's bright. The, the, the colors are more vibrant, more pigmented. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, The KVD Metal Matte. This is back when it was Kat Von D. I love this palette. And I was not, see, matte, metal. I was not depotting this. I don't care. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we have my De Natasha Denona palettes right here in the center. I have a nice little collection of Natasha, Den the $65 ones I purchased on my own. And then, one of, ooh, I'm not gonna, okay. Now I gotta check and see if things have broken. No, this is really pretty. No. Um, the $65 ones I purchased, and then my lovely subscriber, Kia, have not forgotten about you. Bought me the Metropolis. Like, didn't give it to me. She bought me one and had it sent to me. Love this palette. I'm so happy. Um, love it. So yeah, my Natasha Denona collection. And it'll grow. This is a Profusion Holiday palette. I just thought it was very pretty. And then we have some more Perfusion palettes that are even larger. These are the 35 pan ones. And their giant kaleidoscope one. Yeah, Perfusion, Perfusion. Come on, y'all. I love y'all. Can y'all tell? Can y'all tell? All right. So, you guys. Many hours later, that is my complete makeup collection. Glad you stuck with me through this. Um, I'm so happy uh, to finally get this over and um, have it done correctly. If I click off my push lights. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video or any of the other makeup collection videos, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!